Well, Christian education is probably important for every nation, but it certainly is so in Honduras. Um, education is one of the most effective ways to disciple, and, um, and we get to intensively disciple them in a, in a Christian bilingual school, um, and in that way, culture is transformed. As followers of Christ, we're called to make disciples, and what better way um, than to have a school in which you can do this. Um, it takes time, dedication, um, something that you get to do over the long haul, over a long period of time, and it's a systematic approach that really transforms a country. Most people would agree that it's easier to, to teach people that don't have preconceived notions, to start with young kids, to, um, to not have to undo superstitions and um, ill-conceived ideas. And so starting from scratch, starting with little kids, is very helpful. Our desire is to transform the north coast of Honduras uh, with the next generation of leaders. Or as Victor Hugo, Hugo said, if you want to transform a man, begin with his grandmother. We're accepting more than grand, future grandmothers, we're accepting future grandfathers as well. We see a great need in this beautiful country. Uh, there's so much need that, that this seems like the most effective way to change it for the future. Most of the problems and the issues that we see in our culture, the answer seems to lie in the transformation of the heart. And how better to do that than through discipleship of, of young Christians, young little lives. And to share the good news with these little children, uh, to enable them to be the leaders for tomorrow, that's really our, our desire. We see no better way than to enable this transformation than to begin um, with kindergartners on up through secondary education. We'd like to see that where there's violence, that, the, that we would raise up men and women that would have courage to stand for justice. Um, where there's hunger and poverty, we'd like to see men and women that are uh, innovative, have great answers, and, and uh, are willing to be entrepreneurs and, and provide for the community. Oh, we want to see people that are, are willing and desiring to help the less fortunate. Where there's ignorance, we want to see uh, men and women come in and bring light in places of darkness, starting from teaching in Sunday school and teaching in schools and universities and being professors and teachers, um, being the nurses and doctors who do the work um, and, and do it out of uh, treating people with dignity. And we'd like to see um, the politicians would do politics because, uh, because they're looking out for the community, not so much looking out for their own self-interests. But finally, from beginning to end, we want to see um, these kids become what they can be, the potential that God uh, put in them to make them the, the, the individuals to walk in the good works that He has laid out for them and that they would know the Lord in such a way that uh, they, wouldn't, they wouldn't stray from it, that they would, they would know exactly what their call is and that they would have learned this from their ABCs to advanced composition, from uh, learning how to share a crayon to what, um, the beginning of Western civilization, that they would have learned this from teachers that gave the best they had to offer. And, uh, we really have been blessed this first, uh, this first season to have some incredible teachers. Being a teacher at El Camino is a real privilege. We are able to train the students who will become the next generation in Honduras. It's so rewarding to see my students as I'm walking along the road or at a local shop and they come running up to me and give me a big hug and ask me how I am in English. And to see the joy on the parents' faces as they hear their, their children recite Bible verses in English or um, answer a question in English. My prayer is not only that each of these students master the English language and the many manners and skills that they need for life, but also that they each have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. And I think now is the time to share the great love of God with them, and now is the time to make a lasting impact in their lives. But we need more teachers. Um, the only way we can can do this is if we get teachers from uh, the United States or from another country that speak English. We really can't recruit from locally because people don't speak English here and, um, and we really don't have college educated people to draw from. 
hopefully someday once El Camino um, becomes what we hope it will be, uh, we'll be recruiting from this area for the school. But for now, we have to recruit and we have to get commitments from people from outside. We recognize we are we are way out on a limb here. Um, we've climbed out on a limb and we, we don't have enough teachers for next year. So we're just looking for people that would um, that believe in the call, a better way to meet the Great Commission than to get to go to a, a country and disciple uh, little kids in science, math, and, um, and English and teach them about the God that gives it all meaning. So if you would consider, we're, we're looking for people that might consider a commitment of a year or more to uh, work in the, in the harvest that's so plentiful.